Vlog. <laughs> um, I have had said visitor. <laughs> I'm back. She's back because you like London so much. Because I miss you. <laughs> um, we're doing my favourite thing: late night shopping. You want to go to River Island? It's not that good, you know. Okay. Online River Island is very good. Shop. I find that shops and online are very different stories. But Zara, okay. shop is better than Zara online. Happens. So yeah, another weekly vlog. Late night shopping because it's my favourite thing to do and I promised you that I'd take you. Main outfit. We've had our cups of tea. We're heading, we went, got off at Oxford Street and heading down to Selfridges for some food and stopping off at shops on the way. It's like my favourite thing to do. It's like crispy cold. Oh, we're going, oh, where are we going? No, this way. You need to do it again, just trust in my direction. <laughs> Never trust your direction. I can't believe it's a year ago since you went to New York. Sad face. I will link my New York vlog, Sex in the City Guide to New York. <laughs> um, down below, go check that out. <laughs> so guys, just came back to one of our favorite restaurants. It's called Alta at the top of Selfridges. And it's like Italian tapas, so you get like mini everything. Happy place. Yeah, if you ever come self you need to come to the restaurant, it's so good. Food has arrived. How do you feel about this? Are you in a happy place? I'm, I'm on dry October, guys. Abby's made me do dry. No alcohol for whole moment. We'll see. <laughs> good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Um, Sister Blair is here again. Give us a little way. <laughs> oh, I think they missed that. Can we have a replay? <laughs> we are, Nicola's off for a run and I am going to bike next to her because my knee is a little dodgy still. So I can't run that long distance on ground. I can do it on a treadmill but not on actual ground. So I'm going to ride a bike around Hyde Park and then we're going for a cup of tea. So I thought I'd take you along with us. This is outfit of the day. Look at my new outfit of the day mirror. Yes, Marks and Spencer's knit, rucksack. ASOS little big boy hat and yeah cute this was last year but they have a couple of similar ones um top shop belt little rucksack watch which doesn't fit my wrist <laughs> and some biker boots i'm attempting to cycle and vlog here guys one of which i'm not very good at because they can't cycle with one hand oh yeah i can maybe um yeah just riding around hyde park She's my house ahead of me, which I don't understand how because she's running and I'm on a bike. But um, signs like this, you really appreciate like how beautiful London is. Like, look at this, just a casual palace. Like so insane, beautiful lake, so autumnal. Definitely gonna do more stuff like this and learn how to ride a, a bike with one hand because it ain't working. <laughs> Here she is, look at her run. Run, Forest! <laughs> She's faster than me, even on a bike. Got watery eyes. How are you feeling? <laughs> it's lovely. It's so beautiful in Hyde Park. Like, I'm, all the years that I've lived in London, I've never done this. It's so autumnal. Like, all the trees are like orange, red. Like, it's really nice weather. She's faster than me on the bike. <laughs> Not even finished yet, we're halfway around. Good, I like it, we should do this more often. She said next time we'll do Regent's Park. <laughs> You're so fast running. That's coming from a fast runner. She's good, she did the Olympics. Just doing the last stretch. Got me very excited for Winter Wonderland. You're getting all the good angles here, guys. All the good angles. Got me excited for Winter Wonderland because it's here. Right here. If you're feeling it too loud on the roof, here with you, it all seems so distant. With you, you can do it. Run. Last bit. 
can do it! Mob Lock, no, what's that? Hyde Park. No Hyde Park corner, we just first saw her. Come on! You can do it! Would you like to give some finishing words? Some final words of uh, inspiration? Just do it, Nike. Now finish. I'm gonna go get a coffee or a cup of tea at one of the, like the little lakeside places in Hyde Park. It's so beautiful. Why have I never done this before? So she's she's running off again. Just sat down at the little cafe in the middle of Hyde Park. I didn't even see my eyes. <laughs> um, it's like this cute little cafe. This is like Parky Lake. Really super cute. Need tomato soup. You're thawing out. <laughs> You still look pretty. You just touched down at the Le Bouton event. Le Bouton Beauty. It is. <laughs> Not a plus one on the list. <laughs> but look at some of this stuff. All the new beauty from Le Bouton. I think these are nail. Are these nail launches? Eyeshadow. Wow. I like the fact that we're going to make these products as weapons as well. <laughs> I like their thinking. This is like Cinderella shoe times a hundred. The shoe shoe Look at all these eyeshadows. I think the eyeshadow, right? How that's like painful if you fell on that, right? Yes, they're like a free. Seal the eye, or you can use them as a base for the metallic. I use uh, concealer as a primer. Yeah, you so you've got to work with them quite quickly, um, but they blend so amazingly. I can't imagine how good I play with eyeshadow. I'm surprised at how amazing they are. Because I was doing the face on as well. Yeah, I was doing the face charts on paper, and normally it's really hard to blend anything on paper. I was so surprised. And you yeah, but just, that was oh, amazing, that colour. Yeah, it's really nice. These are all the colours, guys. I like them. Not in focus, but we're going to go with it. So, Sister Blair is trying on... Oh, I've got swatches on my hand. What? <laughs> I quite like it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we're getting your makeup done. Look at this. What are, we getting, what are we going for? We're going for the metallic. Oh, I like this. Let's uh, get a zoom. I really like that. This goes on really nicely. Is that yours? Is it on? Oh, wow. Yeah, really good. Guys, what I'm putting on now, this pink one, is so good. I'm surprised how like nicely it goes on. I know, yeah, yeah. This is like a cream that doesn't dry out, and then, yeah, it's such a really good thing. What do we think? <laughs> I like it. So this is Morgamite from the Metallic Collection and it's water infused with pigments which create this really beautiful um, glass and hour like finish. It looks amazing. Look how good this is guys. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Okay. It's your favourite? Yeah, Fave. We're in a happy place. I'm at the beautiful party which I'm being so I'm going to see you. <laughs> I just love these shoes, these are incredible. Yeah, Favourite shoe ever, guys. Yeah. How much do you reckon they are? If anyone needs to know what we should get me red shoes. If anyone should be for yeah. Christmas presents. Hello. Oh, your skirt matches the red of the shoes. It was like it was coming. Favourite shoe. Let me know your favourite Le Bouton shoe. We're going to show you a couple. In the comments below, let me know your favourite and I'm going to go around and show you them all now. Which list? Exhibit A. Number one shoe. That's number one, guys. Number two. Right outfit, but not my fave. Three. Number four. Number five. Guys, I think this one is my favorite. It's in a box, though. <laughs> Just finished off at La Bouton event, and now we are heading for some food down Carnaby Street, one of my favorite places to eat. Right up the street is Kingly Court. So that's Have where we're gonna. 
yeah, we, can you see our sparkly eyes? It's so good. I'm actually going to show you next time we do makeup. I will bring out the Le Bouton eyeshadow. It's so good. Like, really, really beautiful. It's like creamy, but it doesn't go in your creases. It's yeah, like it's really, really nice. nice. And for Le Bouton, I didn't think it was that expensive. Like, it's uh, obviously a higher price point eyeshadow. Was it 43? Yes, yes. I'll put the price of it here, but I didn't think for Le Bouton, quality of the project. Like, it would make a really beautiful Christmas present because. When you buy cheap cream eyeshadow, so you go in all the creases of your eyes. And yeah, just true story. Shit. True, true, true. So story. I think it's worth investing a little bit more, and they're beautiful colours. Like, I like colours that you wouldn't necessarily pick first off the shelf, but when they put them on us, we were like, oh wow, that's really cool. My favourite was, what was it called? Monogamite? Monogamite. Again, I'll do my little trick when Morganite. I don't know things and I'll write it on the screen. <laughs> ah, magic. Look how pretty London is though. Like it's so warm still. Yeah. It's like an Indian summer. Are we coming? Look at me trying to be weather girl. <laughs> but um, this is Liberty's here. So nice. My favorite thing to do is walk around the shops like on Zoom Street at this time of night. It's so nice. Okay guys, I am coming at you bright and early and very defaced from a place called the Glow Bar on Mortimer Street. And I've it's described as a wellness destination, but it's so beautiful. It's got like saunas, like facial, it, like it's just a place where you come to like re rejuvenate. So I'm going to show you a little bit around. So this is, I'm here with Clinique and we're going to look into the moisture surge range. So that's what I'm getting done this morning, but it's just so beautiful. And I'm going to take you, this is the changing room by the way, but I'm going to take you a little bit around this morning and like we're going to get a facial done and like go in the sauna and stuff so it should be fun. I thought it was a really good way to start off on Monday. <laughs> Got my robe on guys. I am ready. <laughs> No, it's perfect. Oh, okay, perfect. Guys, I'm just doing my little part. We're about do, to do. try these Clinique products. Moisture surge on my face. <laughs> do you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> this is uh, Sophie. Sophie. <laughs> and you're a facialist? Yes. Gonna make me look 10 years younger, hopefully. <laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> moisture surge but then we're gonna sit in the sauna it just I had a shower washed all the stuff they put on my face from the clinic range um I feel so sad just put some arrogant oil in my hair this is how look how bitty the ends of my hair is that needs to be like cut off but um, yeah, my face feels so nice and smooth. I've never felt this good on a Monday morning before. <laughs> so we had like a mini facial, like a prep session, and then I went into the sauna with the mask on. I think, I think maybe this one. I think this was what they put on my face before I went into the sauna. So I've had that on in a sauna for like half an hour. I just wanted to show you quickly all the products that they've just used on my face. It was so good. Morning guys, afternoon. I don't know what day it is even. I think it could, it could be Tuesday, I have no idea. But I am just at Abby's. Um, cannot get into a building. It's like bloody high tech security. Um, probably should blur out some of this background so you don't know where she lives. But um, yeah. We are gonna announce something really exciting in a minute, which I've been wanting to share with you guys for so long now. So it will be super, super fun. You guys, like the thing that we've been going on about for ages, I'm about to announce to you. So I thought I'd wait for Abby though, so we can share it with you together. Now let's do this. <laughs> Have we got any cat in the background? Just check that you've got. Is there anything that you don't want in the background? <laughs> <laughs> 
advertised Dyson. I definitely need to fake tan. Fake tan is happening. I was like, oh, let's be pale for winter. Nah. I'm, I'm pale too. It was still stuck to me out, but yeah. at least we're on the same page. I want, you know when that bit there where it's like needing to scrub off? Like, you know when you look like you're freckly and you're really not? It's like all stuck to my, look at my Clinging off, did I? Right, okay. Do I look hot? No. <laughs> okay. My cat's staring at me very strangely. My cat's outside. When You know when you walk down a dark at, like street and there's a cat and it like stops and stares at you? That's the moment they freak me out. But they don't ever like do anything in that situation. I always feel like they're gonna pounce. <laughs> Okay guys, I have Abby with us today. You guys Hello. have probably seen Abby a few times in my vlogs and with me on my Insta stories and stuff. So we're gonna announce today what we have been planning for like six months now. It's been a long, long time. <laughs> really done to me because I've been ridiculously busy. But um, we have been planning this for a long time and today we are gonna share it with you and we want you to be involved. But I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Abby and our friendship first because we've known each other for a very long time. 11 years, I think we've known each other now. So this is Abby, say hi. Hello. <laughs> Welcome her to the vlog in the comments. <laughs> so go on, tell them a little bit about yourself. So I met Laura, was it about 12 years ago? We trained in musical theatre together and then we moved to London together and lived in a hostel for how long? A hostel. Two and a half years. I'm not even joking, guys. It was a hostel. We shared a room when we first moved to London, didn't we? Yeah, we actually shared a room. I don't think I'm the easiest to share a room with. Like, the room was literally about the size of this camera. Absolutely, <laughs> like, tiny, tiny room. Like, but. two but, like camp beds right next to each other, and I had clothes. I think even back then I had clothes and hair everywhere. <laughs> My weave. Yeah. <laughs> but it was fun, wasn't it? Like, it's, you only do that in your, like, Joe, early 20s. the smell of the weave when it used to curl it? And it was like a burning yeah, but I smell. actually like that smell. It's like, that smell now, it's like, Laura, Laura, where are you? I just haven't got it in today, as you can probably tell. But yeah, we, we moved to, so we, I don't think I've ever mentioned this in detail, but I was, um, we trained in musical theatre for three years, so it was like dancing, acting, singing. I cannot sing. I cannot dance. <laughs> so, <laughs> or, or sing Together that well we'd like be that. a triple threat. <laughs> <laughs> Abby was one of the people in um, the girl group when we did when we went to X Factor boot camp. Yeah. So me as a tone deaf person thought it'd be an ingenious idea to put together a girl group. We were called Rococo, <laughs> and I just mimed. We made it all all the way to boot camp, yeah. didn't we? With Harry Styles, Cher Lloyd, One Direction that year. I was so proud of us. We did I, well, yeah. guys. I thought we were going to win. But and, I don't know why. And before, and before you ask, there is no pictures on the internet. Yeah, so don't, don't look for that. You don't it's not there. <laughs> um, so, and then we moved to London together. And then tell, tell them a bit about what you do and your, your career and stuff. So now I am essentially I thought my nipples an actor who's kind of like had a very long break. A very rested actor who because of the so much resting, I now work freelance as a massage therapist and a matchmaker for professionals in London. So I work for the UK's best up and coming matchmaking company. I think you play down your acting a lot. You've done loads of different theatre shows. I've been to see you in loads. Yeah, I, ha I have <laughs> done like loads of like little bits and pieces, but it's never like form gone to the point level that I wanted it to go to. And then you reach the point where you're like, this is like getting me down now and like I need to progress I'm 30 I'm not 30 anymore but when I had the moment of I need to progress <laughs> I was 30 it was like because I thought that everything would be like in place by 30 oh god same there's this thing isn't there where you think everything's gonna be in place by I'm 30 you get to 30 and you're like oh god I've done nothing like, yeah so we both moved down to basically do the whole musical theatre auditioning thing and we both ended up in completely different yeah. situations I've not done a single musical theatre job as soon as I got to London, like one. I did a few auditions, then I got a fashion internship. <laughs> I was like, that was a waste of three years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what a waste of time. At least we met each other. Yeah, through that. And at least Miss Tess sorted my elocution out, because guys, my accent wasn't very good all the years ago. You would not have been able to understand what I'm saying. We had elocution lessons and our teacher hated me. <laughs> bus, bus, And we bus. all hated the teacher. Oh, yes. Rest in peace, Mr. Rest in peace, Mr. <laughs> I feel like I'm really tall. Do you want me to just... <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Hi, Chris. 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 Hi, Chris
friend. <laughs> um, okay, so the reason I have Abby on today, and the reason why you're going to be seeing Abby a little bit more, is that we are going to be starting a podcast. You, now, now this is where you take over because you're very good at explaining it okay. <laughs> and what it's about. Okay, so Grown Up is about navigating yourself through 21st century adulthood. Yeah, we're trying to look at life through an unfiltered lens. That's it. That's all we want to do. And we want to bring people on who may inspire other people yeah. to realise that, you know, you can actually do more than you think. Which is where you guys can get involved because yeah. we would like anyone who watches this vlog to, you can be in the chance of being on the podcast. If you have a conversation you'd like to talk about, something that you would like to cover and be one of the presenters on the show with us for a week, then this is your opportunity. All you have to do is fill out a survey, like what do you call it? Questionnaire. Questionnaire. <laughs> what she said in the in the description box it's going to be a questionnaire with a few questions so we can learn about you and what you'd like to talk about and something that you can bring to the conversation and stuff so don't feel shy or you can nominate a friend if they feel shy like just we want to hear from you guys the more the merrier so let's get involved all you have to be is around the london area or be able to get to london because our podcast studio is in central london so definitely make sure that yeah. you are <laughs> not um if you don't want to come on the podcast but you do want us to cover a particular topic just comment in the comments box and we will definitely like at least consider it and if we do use an idea of yours we will credit you yeah i'm open to i really when i started youtube or what i wanted to do with my youtube channel i really want to make it into like not just me and you i wanted to make it into a community and get everyone involved so i will be filming the podcast on my Vlog, weekly vlog as well so if you do get to, to come onto the podcast you'll be on the YouTube channel as well and like make it really interactive for like because I noticed in my comments that everyone was like strong and positive and looking out for each other and like a really positive community so I want to kind of take that community and make it interactive with you guys in a really like really some you know this word really physical sense <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Not very good with words and she's she's doing a podcast. <laughs> We're going to have guests on that will hopefully inspire and teach us, but we'll also hopefully teach them a little bit and also we will learn from our audience, our listeners, and they will hopefully learn from, from us and our guests. Yeah, do the opposite of what Instagram does because I feel like you go to Instagram and you see this everything looking so glossy and it kind of makes you feel like you're not doing good enough yourself. So we want to talk about the failures, rejections, the crap times and maybe show like get people on that have come out of this or have made something for themselves out of nothing. Like talk about the bad times and the good times and how they got from A to B. Like a really inspiring podcast to like be the best versions of ourselves and not just be bombarded with like glitz and glam all the time. So like a really different aspect to my Instagram and my YouTube. So we're gonna get nitty and gritty. Yeah. I like it. Like just, I don't know, just have a conversation with you guys and like create a really nice community here. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm like really open to like learning from other people. Yes, yeah, so I always am. Like, but just different ideas, different perceptions on things. It's like I think that's a really great thing, and that we can all benefit from that sort of platform. We want to give like normal people a voice, and because the media is all like full of celebs and stuff like that who are very tuned, like told what to say all the time, and we want to give normal people, or what's the word to say, ordinarily ordinary, no, extraordinarily ordinary people, a voice. We're celebrating the extraordinary in the ordinary. What she said. If you want to come on, but you don't want anyone to know that you've come on, we can make sure that it's anonymous and we won't film you. We can do that too. It can be done. Yes. We'll just blow you out. <laughs> <laughs> just like, we're like a criminal. You know, you know one of those programs where the criminals like, not we'll, shown. We'll put another voice on. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to do that. I'm not that like advanced. Like a robot. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we're going to be starting it in a... So we're going to be starting it in a couple of weeks time so definitely get in touch and we cannot wait to hear from you guys and by the way i cho I, I wanted abby to be on the show with me because we've known each other for like 11 12 years and she's the person i come to with all my like worries and worries and advice and stuff someone wants to get involved right <laughs> Coming guys, <laughs> men are welcome. Yeah, men are welcome. Men, women, just not children because it's a grown up. Yeah, oh, grown up. See what you did yeah. there. <laughs> grown up's like very ironic, by the way, because we feel like when you're so I'm 30, Abby's 32, and like I thought in my early 20s that I'd really have my 
together by now and I definitely don't in anyway but from my Instagram my YouTube it might seem that I do so that's kind of where grown up came from wasn't it mm. she came up with it not me <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> I'm really bad at coming up with names <laughs> <laughs> so yeah grown up you're gonna hear more about it each week on the vlog so I'll keep you in like in the loop and stuff and yeah this is Abby hello welcome welcome to the world of YouTube thank you and now, guys, I'm gonna look at you. Can I go show you? being trolled. She has. Oh, we will. We'll get trolled. To being trolled. I'm gonna show you Abby's cats because they've been oh, yeah. distracting me for a long time. This is one. This is Wilma. If you're if Wilma's your cat people. Now. Oh. She, she wants belly oh. Wilma. Oh. She says, "Look, I'm an, I'm gonna be a YouTube star." There's a train in the background. <laughs> oh, there he is. Santa. Another one. He always looks angry. So yeah, we're gonna love you and leave you now and we will be seeing you a lot more of Abby as well very, very soon. <laughs> we have just arrived and with <laughs> Have you started your YouTube channel yet? Have, you started it? I have, but I haven't sent you the link yet. Can I link it down below? Go there. Okay, it will be linked down below. Go give Bianca a follow. But we're at the most beautiful, what would we call this? Sweet? Yeah. In like, just off top Covent Garden? I have no idea where we are, but it's the sanctuary spa and it's so beautiful. Look at this. Check this out. Look at that. <laughs> Look at this table. I don't even know what to go for. What would you go for? Oh my god, look at these. Yeah. Oh, they're so pretty. What is this one? Oh, a meringue. Oh my god, this, exci this excites me so much. Oh my god, look at this one. What is that? Oh my god. I like cool white chocolate. Mm -hmm. Guys, so we just came to this amazing room and we've got chocolate in my mouth, but look at this table. It's insane. So insane. I'm just gonna show you a little bit of this place because it's just so Christmassy. Loving it. We have Christmas tree over here. I have this in my bath at the moment. So good. Got me in the mood for Christmas. <laughs> Eating chocolate. Cuteness. This is like Alice in Wonderland's little table. I'm like, what more food can we get? <laughs> really good idea, aren't they? Nice. Is it nice? This place is beautiful. What's this place? Ke Ketner's? Ketner's apartment. Ketner's apartment, guys. Look, this is my favorite bit. Look at all of this. <gasps> Fancy. And then we have this pretty bath over here. Love, 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 love. Super quick, because I'm running really late as usual. It is a breakfast at Harvey Nichols with Mark Jacobs. And obviously, I'm not very good in the mornings. But um, I have these beautiful earrings on. This knit. Actually, I will show you maybe in my outside mirror. But yeah, I'm late. So, go, go. I have just arrived at Harvey Nichols. I don't know if you can hear me. I have to of people behind me. But I'm here for the launch of Leopard Cross, which is her new lipstick. I'm going to show you in a minute. But um, yeah, we're all getting our makeup done, everything like that. So, if you guys want to pick up the lipstick, you can head it down to Harvey Nichols. Mark Jacobs, like their branding is just so good. It's like me to a two. Should we say hi? Hi, us! Celebrate, 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 celebrate. Hey, what's your style? What you drinking? What's your vibe? I've been feeling rather sad in the corner of my glass. Boy, what's your style? What you drinking? What's your vibe? I've been feeling rather sad. So I just got back to my flat from the Marc Jacobs event. I absolutely love Marc Jacobs branding. It's so me. It's like, don't know if I showed you like the bookcases and stuff then, but it's like really sleek, beautiful, like white roses, black, a lot of black, but then like got this edginess, like the leopard print and stuff. Like it's just me to a T. I love it. Um, so yeah, just got, I'm going to show you the Marc Jacobs stuff maybe in next week's vlog, but um, I just wanted to explain it a little bit more about the podcast before I love you and leave you because... I'm so excited about it. I don't know if you guys remembered last year, not this year, but the year before. I No, this year I think I did it. I did a video on Valentine's Day about dealing with self-esteem and like my past relationships maybe. I touched on something quite personal and 
the conversation that it started from and in like in the comments from you guys like so many people came forward and shared their experience and I just loved the community that evolved from that video and the podcast is going to be like come from that that's where the inspiration came from I just wanted to a place where we can come and talk about stuff in a not like showy offy way because I know that's all social media looks like good outfits good places whereas I want a place in my like social media platforms where we can all talk about real issues and real things and I want you guys to be involved in it so if you're watching this and you have something you want to share you have something you an idea or anything you can come on the podcast we're looking to hear from you guys because I want this to be like a community like an equal community that we can all get involved in and I'm so excited about it and I, when I was thinking about who I'd want to do it with Abby was like a no-brainer um, I always go to her for a advice in fact this morning I was like this boy's just messaged me I'm, I'm not interested can you please think of a reply <laughs> and she'll come out with like a really good response I'm like yes that's so mature <laughs> ah, these earrings are very heavy anyway I'm gonna love you and leave you guys the podcast information will all be in the description box so please 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 do ahead nominate your friend get involved yourself anything that you you want to do we're gonna be grown up <laughs> I still feel like a kid. <laughs> when do we ever actually grow up? I don't know. Anyway, see you next week.